Hello, this is Paul, and I am teaching a series at the uh, First Church of the Brethren at uh, Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, and we have a 12-unit program going on where if you are in attendance for 12 different lessons that we have, uh, 10 of them will give you a free computer. The other two, you can come back and be able to ask any questions about your computer at all. This program is for people who are absolutely new to the computer and has no previous knowledge. Now, we are teaching Windows XP, which is not the newest version of Windows out at this time. However, the free computers that are distributed has Windows XP Professional installed and is able to uh, have also uh, a copy of a free program available called OpenOffice.org. To begin with, this is the first unit and it will uh, offer you information as to what hardware is. Hardware is uh, something that you can touch and be able to handle, move around at will, and be able to uh, uh, view things on the computer and be able to produce documents as you would like to do. Software is something that you cannot touch with your hands. It will present a display on your screen. It can be animated just like this is. Uh, what you're looking at is software and you're looking at it on your screen which is hardware. So please remember that in the free program that we have this presentation will not constitute for your attendance. We hand out notes at the classes and a collection of those notes for ten different lessons will uh, constitute for your ability to get a free computer. So let's see what we're looking at for hardware. As we look into our first program, uh, first th thing is that we realize that we do put uh, uh, a plug into what is called a power unit. Now this power supply might have a switch on the back of your computer that is uh, uh, identified right around here for you to be able to turn on and off the uh, machine. Uh, this is uh, in addition to the on button on the front of your machine and if this button is left on at all times then you will be able to turn your machine off and on from the beginning of your machine. Now take notice that we do have a, a, a kind of strange thing here where uh, we are able to uh, have a lot of tentacles coming out pretty much like an octopus but each one of these goes to a different device on your machine to provide the necessary power for your machine to work. More on this in a bit. Now this is the inside of that unit and we can see that switch at a different location on the bottom down here and this is where the power cord from your uh, uh, from the wall receptacle will plug in at. Uh, please note that you will never open this unit like this. I downloaded a picture to be able to display it to you that you can see what's inside. Now take notice that uh, this unit, if you should open it, becomes very dangerous. It packs a lot of voltage and it could result in somebody's death if your heart will not be able to handle it. So do not open this item and see what's inside, but do notice that this uh, uh, unit will do two things. As I have already mentioned that it will supply uh, electricity to the different components inside your computer 
and be able to uh, uh, have it work properly. As different components are added, we have plenty of leads coming out of this unit, uh, this supply unit, uh, to be able to provide the necessary electricity internally. Now, take notice that this has radiators in it that packs a lot, uh, quite a bit of uh, heat, and we have a, a, a very important item on here of the fan on the back there. This fan not only keeps the uh, heat sinks cool, but it also provides circulation throughout your computer for the proper handling of the temperature it should be working at. Now, take notice that there are different uh, uh, units in here that uh, power transformers to be able to supply the proper voltage to your machine. This, uh, so that is two reasons for your machine. It provides the proper voltage and electricity to the different parts of your computer and it, st it is the start of the circulation for the cooling system of the proper uh, operating t uh, temperature for your computer. Now also take notice that this is a uh, microprocessor. It reminds me of a, uh, uh, a memory chip that was uh, from the very beginning of my uh, experience with computers. It, uh, uh, it is, uh, has evolved quite a bit. These chips are no longer in your computer, but it will represent what uh, a chip is inside your computer. Now take notice that this is a uh, central processing unit that we will be looking at later on where it mounts on what is called the motherboard. But this is the heart of your unit. When you hear of a Pentium computer, this is what uh, one of the older chips looked like. And uh, <coughs> on the bottom side here are all kinds of pins that will uh, mount onto what is called the motherboard and be able to process data from one device to the other. So this is uh, 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 a chip that will operate and determine the speed of your computer and be able to make everything function together. Now this is a uh, display of a motherboard. In fact, it is rather modern for today's standards. A much larger CPU will plug, uh, sit on this mount right here, and on top of it is a radiator, and on top of that is a fan to keep this chip cool. When the Pentiums first came out, it was delayed by a lot of uh, uh, problems that it kept on burning up on us, and with that problem, we uh, were uh, uh, unable to have it released. However, with the addition of the fan on there made it possible to be able to uh, come out and we experience what we have today. Now on here we have other components that will uh, operate and we'll get into that with the next section.